Oh yeah, I should probably tweet and stuff. What's happening, Space Dave? Great Gecko, good to see you, Mr. Wales, the Haxer, Bunny Mountain. What's good, Mr. Terra Moose? What's up, Ferocious? Addy, Great of the Gecko. Uh, yeah, we gotta have a pretty organized day today because I gotta get uh, all my parts cleaned and screws organized and everything else. So everything's ready to go back on the machine when the time comes. But all the stuff I'm pulling before it goes back on the rotisserie is done. What's up, Bergo, Lurkstoff, Kulatron, to Banana, Reed. Yep, the Logitech K330 Special, wireless keyboard and mouse, one trend, transceiver, or receiver. What's up, Yellow Kush? Beast, good to see you, sir. So let me uh, let me come over here real quick, and I'll show you guys what I have going on. So hi, what's up? We got um, all of our bags numbered from one to sixty-two, which is how much stuff we have on our to-do list here. Uh, here's all the parts that we pulled off of the machine. And in addition to uh, not only cleaning and organizing the stuff, we got to do something else as well. We got to uh, take the pictures that we've taken and uh, circle where things go. This is a bit of an extra step that I probably don't need to take, but I want to get in the habit of making sure, because who knows, I could take three months um, cleaning the bottom of it and then forget where something goes, so I'd like to have a picture reference as well. Oh, Hexiano, I literally have the chat right here, so no worries. I'll just talk to you guys as if we're having a normal show. What's up, Arcane Light? Good to see you. It's Axius, so feel free to... We'll just do like an AMA all show. It's going to be more of a casual uh, talk about it, so, uh, of course. You may say, is this gaming content? Yes, it is, because part of owning a uh, game that is over 20 years old is cleaning and maintenance. You don't do that. They fall apart and don't run as well, so this is an integral part of... Uh, Owning a pinball machine. Uh, once again, I'll not stream tomorrow, but uh, on Tuesday I'll be doing a 12-ish hour stream for Rebirth. Yes, yes, rough MS paint, circles, and arrow in addition. That's exactly right. We're going to be using paint. I got my paint tab right here, and then we'll just do like um, open, pick our image here, and then, you know, slap the old circle on it. Exactly. Sweet nectar. All right, well, we'll get started with number one here, which is our awesome. I'm going to put this in the interim right here. This is our launcher cap. Everything on this machine is pretty darn dusty. Oh, where am I going to put these bags for right now? Let's just put them down in this box down here. What's up, Raising Cane? Okay. So the main thing we're going to be using here is Nobis One. It's a really light, like a uh, plastic polish. Ain't nothing special. Pretty cheap. Pretty non-toxic. We also have uh, Nobis Two, which is a little bit more like super high-grade uh, sandpaper. We probably won't be using any of that today. That's more so for uh, cleaning the playfield. It will scratch at the plastics, where Nobis One will not. Got our uh, microfiber cloth. What do I do with the pink one? Here's the pink one. The pink cloth is for getting off any just uh, dirt you can rub off of whatever it is. And then we'll slap the Novus One on there and rebag it. No, it does not taste great. Do not drink the Novus One. Do not. Now, pretty dirty on the inside. 
Oh yeah, nice and dirty from that solenoid kicking over and over again. I'm gonna say no on the window. Yeah. I could use a little rubbing alcohol too. Yeah, let's do let's do a little alcohol for this one. It's pretty dirty. Generally don't want to use too much alcohol in plastic, but it's pretty grimy on the inside. So, alcohol can make the plastic a little more brittle, but that being said, uh, it's not like we're giving it an alcohol bath. We're just giving a little, little happy fun time rub. Well, many, I mean, I went to Pinside and looked up, you know, you know, the basics and stuff like that. Nothing uh, too special. Just kind of used common sense and found the cleaning products I want to use. This is Star Trek parts indeed. We're going to go piece by piece and then catalog it out. Okay, so yeah, the only danger of using alcohol and plastic is it can make it brittle. It's a pretty thick piece of plastic. Very grimy as well. All right, so now that we've got our uh, base clean done there. You can see how, how much dirt we got off that just from a little bit there. Yep, indeed, Fracture. I'm just going to go ahead and pull out, uh, well, I guess we'll wait, hold on. So this rag is only for uh, base dust and cleaning off the alcohol if need be. The green rags are going to be for Novus. So we're going to spray it directly onto the rag, not onto the plastic. Yourself a nice little corner here. What happens if you use alcohol to clean uh, safety glasses, Red or Rump? Enlighten me. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Nice and shiny. Yeah, it's just a plastic cleaner slash polish. It says a dust repellent, whatever the hell that means. Just a really mild cleaner. Just enough to polish and shine the plastic. Then we'll take the opposite end of our rag and give it the good old wipe. Uh, again, like Novus 2 is um, more of a scratch cleaner, and then Novus 3 is a heavy scratch cleaner. The Novus 1 is just a basic plastic polish. Odd fog safety glasses, fair enough. Okay, so now we take our bag labeled number one here. Put it back in. That bad boy's clean. I'm cleaning all of the plastic pieces for the Star Trek The Next Generation pinball machine. Come on, guy. We got in there last time. I know we can do it this time. There we go. Or may did I really use a bigger bag? I guess I did. I guess I trolled myself there. That's okay. I got more of those. Hoo! I done trolled myself. Okay. Okay, so this is our corner with the Novus. We got our rag over here for the base cleaning. Need to relabel these because I did the wrong size bag. One and two. Whoa, it's more like a question mark. Uh, loopy two. Okay, well, silly me. I can go in the bin down here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with how clean that is. Okay. So I have 62 parts on my list here. However, a lot of them are screws, so no big deal there. Um, okay, so also, 
I tried to do my ice cube tray thing for the screws when I was taking the machine apart. It didn't work out so good because there's a lot more types of screws than I thought. So I'm going to rebag these into a smaller bag, which I should have just used this for. That'll do. Oh, come on, guy. Okay. So on my list here for number one left launcher cap, 4X Red, which is these. Let's break that open. Okay, one, two, th oh god, don't fall down. The ice cube uh, tray trick would have worked out great if um, <laughs> if there's less types of screws. Well, you can thank Ashley for that one, Shadow's Day. Wait, it's her thing. Okay. We're going to take number one. These are the screws that go with the launcher cap, so uh, we can go ahead and combine these, put it in the same bag. Bloop. I saw Joyrock uh, last night. Okay. This is a dirty bag. Okay. Throw this in the old trash can down here. Uh, space limitations. Okay. Number two is the same kit and caboodle. Okay, so inside of this is pretty gnarly too. We're going to use the pink rag, which is our dust rag, to go over and get just the base. Then we'll do an alcohol wipe, and then we'll do a Novus wipe. Repeat the process. Luckily, Radiant Ice, I really don't have many screws to pull out past that. It's a great idea, though, with the towel. Okay, well, gave it the old wipe. You can see we got, you know, a little, some dirty spots. There's a solenoid inside this thing that kicks the ball out, so a lot of dirt build up from that. So right around the launcher here and stuff, there's definitely some uh, pretty hefty build up. Sir Privis, a little gloved hand to you, sir. Welcome to the Dapper Man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay. I'm cleaning all the plastic parts, son of a biscuit, all the plastic parts for uh, the Star Trek The Next Generation pinball machine. Uh, I'll hop over and show you guys the plastics here in just a sec. Okay. Not too bad. So you don't really want to use alcohol and plastics too much, but I'll make an exception here. Just for a quick uh, rub down of some of the uh, heavier dirt buildup. Okay, so we have Novus on this corner of the rag. Now we can get started polishing the plastic. Probably a pretty safe bet, Woody Fryman. I haven't shaved in three years, so we'll just go ahead and say yes on that one. Okay, cool. Probably want to switch corners of the rag here sooner rather than later. I need to find a more comfortable position to sit here. I'm going to scoot up a little bit. Hold on. Link up a little bit and rest my feet down. Might be a bit better. Okay, much better. I was able to become the Bashi last night after many very, very slippery urns. I had a bad night of Bashi last night. It's okay, though. We got there. All right, got nice, nice clean and polish on that. 
you know, Coolatron really, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely, you know, wax and clean the playfield and stuff, but this is like a once in a lifetime thing for the machine. Uh, by the time this gets done again to the machine, it'll be somebody else's problem more than likely. Like, uh, this is a really deep clean that you just, you don't do very often. It's something I want to do with each of my machines, mostly to learn how they work uh, more than anything. Oh, me too, A50 Patrick. He literally had one HP left. It was brutal. Okay, these, screen, these screws are relatively clean. I'm going to drop these in here. I tried to use an ice cube tray organization system for screws, but there's too many different kinds of screws, so I abandoned that relatively early. So we got to fix that and uh, get it back to the system we were using before. Okay. Uh, let me go over what we have going on here real quick before I get too disorganized. Okay, so we'll hop back over to the uh, mobile cam here. Okay, so here is my bags. These are all the bags for the the master list of stuff we're cleaning. We just did number one and number two. Uh, this is the uh, parts. They're all laid out in numerical order. We're starting from one and going to 62. This ice cube tray will be gone soon. Pink rag for wiping dust, uh, green rag for polishing, polishers, Q-tips, gloves, so on and so forth. Going to work our way through, and then I have a couple boxes to put everything afterwards. Yeah, please do, Fracture. That stuff's always welcome. Okay, next thing, though. What we have to do here is find an image that shows uh, where the stuff is. <clears throat> it's going to be a little bit overkill for organization, but I don't want to end up uh, coming back to this three months later and going, where the hell do I put this piece? These first pieces are a no-brainer, but I'm going to go from the beginning and just do it up right. Okay, cool. So, we we'll hop over to the paint tab. Yes. All right, I gotta, when am I going to have more space here? I guess when I get more plastics cleared off, I'll have a bit more space. That'll be better. Okay, i got one more set of screws to work with. Looking forward to a little bit more space here. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and open. This should be sufficient. Don't save. So the first one's going to be the left, left launcher cap. Um, let's just grab a large brush, red, super thick. File, save as. Star Trek Reassemble, that'll be 01. Whoa, I can still have uh, hotkeys on there. My bad. Clear that hotkey. I thought I cleared those today. I guess not. Okay. The 01, left launcher cap. And we'll control Z. We'll circle this one. Whoop. Save as. Two. Right. Cool. Step one complete. All right, so one and two. We'll go over here see what is next on our list. We have two, three and four, or three is right in lane screws, four is right in lane plastics. Okay. What's up, Doss New? Good to see you, sir. Yeah, there's a lot of parts to a pinball table, man. Like, no, no joke. Everything, everything must go. Okay, I got this, I got this scorecard too. It's not labeled as a piece, but 
no brainer where that one goes. So number three is these super long uh, inlaying screws. Okay, these screws got a little bit of dust on them, but like honestly, not any, not any rust. So we're gonna say these are just straight up good. We're going to put these in the Star Trek Next Generation screw box, which happens to be a shoe box. Number three goes there. On to number four, which is the right in-lane plastic. And before I forget where a scorecard goes, that'd be bad, man. That'd be bad. Okay, so I, uh, I ended, oh wait, hold on a second. I might as well get these like a, a wipe. There's no reason not to wipe them down. I did make another bag to wipe them down, so let's do that. Okay, I'll move this back to the side real quick. This is our dirty bag. It goes down here. I made a new bag for every part, so there'd be no, uh, no reason not to. Let's give them a little wipe. Uh, Exclam Solgren Slifer, if somebody doesn't get it for you. Okay. This has five very long uh, bolt screws. Not bolt screws, just very long screws. Machine screws. Sundays will be open chat, or that's the plan to have them be open chat. Open chat's worked out great, uh, great so far for Sunday cast. Thanks all for being awesome. Definitely got some uh, dirt off of there. Nothing crazy, though. Any dirt's good dirt to remove, though. <laughs> nice, Ashley. Nice. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Good old time machine. Um, it's not on a rotisserie yet, uh, Lippin. I'm probably going to get on a rotisserie, uh, not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday for obvious reasons with Rebirth releasing, but uh, it's, it's about one part away from being um, able to be taken and put in the rotisserie. Okay, so I got my screw box right here. My first set of screws, and we're on to number four. This will be our right in lane plastics. Okay, these are not too dirty. I don't want to mess with the inside of these too much. I'll probably spray some Novus on a Q-tip and go inside there, though. Okay, so this is number four. Uh, Avers, guys, I am cleaning all of the plastics for... That pinball machine back there, which has the play field pretty much stripped off. Uh, neither, Dos Noob. I'm using Novus One Plastic Cleaner. Um, I'm using alcohol for only things that are very dirty because uh, alcohol can fog and make plastics brittle. So I'm using this stuff. Okay. So first things first. Spray right here see just how dirty this is not too bad a little clean and never hurt anybody though yeah not too bad at all oh absolutely an track that would definitely be a noticeable difference with the uh, play field completely clean it has a nice coat of wax on it it'll play great Oh, a rotisserie. Okay, so I'm going to pull the play field off and put it on a rotisserie jig so it can spin 360 degrees so I can work um, uh, work on the top and bottom of the machine safely. Like, it's really hard to solder and stuff when the machine's mounted on, or the play field's mounted on the machine. So the basic idea there is to uh, eliminate that problem. I've heard about as harsh as you want to go with um, plastics is Windex. I don't even want to go that harsh. Okay. Got ourselves a nice dirty Q-tip. Get in the trash can, sir. Okay, this rag's still pretty well soaked with Novus, so I'm going to give this a little polish. Okay. 
Novus one's pretty much safe to use on almost anything except for eyeglasses, so it's a really mild cleaner polish for plastics. Okay. Thank you, Wing Bear. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks for being a part of it, man. Man, look how dirty this one is. That's pretty gnarly. I mean, this one is taking the dirt to the next level. Cool, PJ. Well, maintenance is part of owning the machines. A bigger part than owning most machines. Demo machines have a lot of stuff that can go wrong, a lot of moving parts, a lot of electronics dust that has to be taken care of. Okay, let's just give this a little once over. Superb. Not too much, Jerome, because uh, I've been really busy just getting the studio set up and uh, getting stuff like this ready. Um, I'd love a little bit more time to play, but life's not allowing right now. It really is uh, ASMR. When I pulled the, um, when I pulled the, I can't even show it right now. When I pulled the apron off the front of the machine, it was amazing how much dirt was under there. The machine's very clean, but oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Well, I'm a fan of both uh, PGA, but I can definitely understand loving the technical side. They're very intricate and cool. Okay, cool. So there's number four. I'm going to end up doing, when I get about uh, 10 to 12 done, I'll end up uh, wrapping them in saran wrap and putting them in the box. That way I can pull them out about 10 at a time. Okay, there is number four. Now we got to get a picture of this. I think we can probably use the same picture. Maybe a better one. Let's hop over to the old paint here. Adam's Family Machine is far dirtier than this one. Far dirtier. Uh, well, can I open? Okay, we got to do it this way. Fine, that's fine. Uh, let's see here. Looks like I took a good picture of this one too. Okay, there it is. Don't save. Okay, yep, that's this piece right here. So I'll grab a red marker, heavy brush, super thick line. Well, now it's this piece of plastic. Okay. I mean, obviously, I probably know where this will go, but uh, you just never know. Like three months from now, maybe I would forget something. Probably not this piece, but uh, I don't want to mess with it. So that's 04. Oh man, really? Apparently I didn't delete all my hotkeys. Let's do that again. Bloop. Okay. Neato burrito. As soon as I get a few more plastics cleaned, I'll have a little bit uh, more room to work with. It'll be nice. Okay, our Novus rag is... It's got one more pass on that side before I switch corners. I can't be tame, Sphinx 2K. I've never put my hair in a ponytail. I don't ever plan on doing it. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Number five is right in lane metal. Very fair then. Okay. So I could really use the same uh, picture there if I wanted to, because it goes in the same spot. This is metal, but I'm gonna do the same thing with the Q-tip and then the uh, the Novus the Novus rag. This may be the dirtiest part of it all. So all this is, is the bottom portion of the in-lane with the screw post that goes through right here. A 
Whoa, there's a washer too. Okay, okay. Well, let's take a look at this washer. It has some rust on it. Okay, so. What I need to do here is create a separate bag for this and label it 05. And I'm going to put the rusty screws in a separate place because I'm going to go to the hardware store and find all this shizzle. We'll label this as number five. Put this tiny little washer in there. There's no other rust on this, fortunately. Go bloop and get in there. Then I'll know where to put it back after I buy it. Okay, limited space, have to be organized. Once again, we'll have a little more space soon. Yeah, I'm gonna completely replace the rusted stuff for sure, Katie Ricardo, there's no reason not to. Um, I think at some point, like, a drink got spilled on this machine or something. That's like a very minimal problem, but there's definitely some rust, uh, some rust stuff happening. Oh man, you are a dirty piece of equipment. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Boogaloo. I have no idea the stuff's name, but I need a shizzle of it. Okay, so just from doing a dry rub here, take a look at this. That's just that's just a dry rub. And that is that is exactly why we are cleaning the machine. Well, let's put uh, let's put the rusty screws up top here for now. Uh, fun Pedal Grove, we are cleaning all of the plastic parts for a Star Trek The Next Generation pinball machine, which was made in 1993. Okay, now we're going to take the Novus portion, which I have this one good piece left, and we're going to we're going to try to polish all the dirt off this thing. Um, Professor Illoman, my Atmos family machine definitely needs a coat of clear coat and paint. The Star Trek machine itself is in, um, fantastic shape. Yes, it is a machine I own, Fun Pedal Grove. I'm relatively new to the pinball hobby, and I would not be, uh, equipped to work on anybody else's. I own this, uh, the Adams family, and a 1977 Williams Big Deal. Okay, cool. So we got uh, most of the dirt. Well, let's say let's get all the dirt. Yeah, if you go on my past broadcast, there's actually uh, some demonstrations of how we do the, the gameplay. Okay, we got one more thing to do on this one. But as you can see, this, this corner of my rag is pretty much toast, so we'll have to move to a, uh, a new section. Now I can see a little bit more dirt here. I'd rather take my time and do it right. Okay. That's looking pretty good. This is the bottom of the post, so if there's going to be any dirt in there, it's probably going to be in that portion. So excuse me for a second. Yeah, I could buy a tumbler uh, fracture. I'd rather just do it by hand, to be honest. I don't care if it takes more time. Like, uh, tumbler is kind of lazy, in my opinion, and can cause a lot of problems. These plastics are very, very old, 20 plus years. So, you start throwing metal and plastic into a tumbler, yeah, it'll come out clean, but you'll probably crack something. Cool zoning, bro. Okay. Part number five. Can you make a command explaining what's going on? It is fracture. It really is, uh, I believe, good for the soul, the clean stuff.
Can't say I have a favorite Prime Arch. I really don't enjoy TV cooking shows all that often. I used to like, oh goodness, don't want to forget that. I used to enjoy um, Top Chef back when it was in the first couple seasons, but I thought it went downhill after that. I really stopped watching cooking stuff. Chop's pretty good. Some of the other ones like Cutthroat Kitchen and stuff are pretty over the top, in my opinion. Okay. <laughs> indeed, I have had Pepperidge Farm members indeed. Okay, so there's part number five, which is the right in lane uh, classics. This and part number four stack on top of each other three ways to make, uh, make the goods. We're going to go ahead and label this one real quick, too, because why not? <laughs> We're almost to a point where I have space for my rags and stuff, thank God. So this is the dirty bag. Put this in the trash. Cat can go back here. Okay, that's our dust rag. So once again, this is overkill. You know, I, I think I can save this exact same one uh, is the same. Is it, yeah, it's the exact same piece. So we'll just put this uh, as 05. Right in lane metal. Easy money. All right, what are we on our number six here? I'm gonna turn down the uh, brightness of this cam a little bit. Hold on a second. A little bit light. A little less exposure, maybe. Do, 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 do. Whoa there! Really, that's how far it goes? Can I drag it a little bit? I think that's better. M much better. I had a weird light source behind me. Okay, so we're at number um, six now, which is going to be the left in lane. Uh, plastics, metal, and screws, just like we just did. There'll be three of the same pieces. It's not too bad, Simple Enigma. This is very overkill for what you need to do, but um, I don't know. If you're going to pay several thousand dollars for a pinball machine, I feel it's like kind of a shame to not learn how to work on it. Uh, Zaphod, it's actually in much better shape than I thought it would be. There's definitely some stuff I am uh, looking forward to fixing on it, but um, it's in way better shape than I thought it would be for being 20-something years old. Thank you, Rasta Spoon. Appreciate it. I don't know how long it's been rusted, uh, Rasta Spoon, so what I'm going to end up doing is just replacing the parts that do have uh, severe rust. That's a good tip. Well, bad, uh, bad font Kimming. I'm used to wearing gloves for being a cook for so long, and I'm using chemicals that I'm not sure, entirely sure of the uh, application uh, or the chemical composition. So no point in not using gloves. Uh, Boogaloo definitely took time, sir. Definitely took time. Yeah, it also prevents oils. So uh, never a bad thing to wear gloves when cleaning. I don't really care about the hand oils, to be honest. It's just more so I'm using this Novus stuff, which I don't know. Um, I don't know what exactly what's in it. So rather than let that soak into my skin, I'll just use gloves. All right, number six, cool. So we know this is left in lane screws. Don't need a. Uh, Thanks for that. Okay. What's up, someone at forty nine fifty six? 
No, Zaphod, uh, like, honestly, the screws have very little dirt on them. I'm really just worried about dirt. If it was really rusty, then I'll just put it in a different bag. But uh, you can see we've already uh, done a bit of a number on this rag. All right. So number seven will be the right inlane plastics here. So same piece as before. We'll use the same system of the Novus One Q-tip into the uh, brackets uh, with a wipe down with Novus, Novus rag afterwards. Okay, that's number seven. Uh, Granny the Gecko, you really don't want to use, put uh, microfiber cloths into into the washing machine and then and then dryer more importantly because they will attract lint the great thing about microfiber cloths is they are lint free and if you put them in the dryer they are no longer lint free friendbot a little hand to you sir welcome to the dapper thank you very much okay after this piece i'm going to reorganize my desk here because i have some space available on the plastics bench now this is what i was looking for What's up, Iga Iga? I'll go ahead and get a little bit around around the brackets here too, because why not? The first one, Zach Allen. Well, come on, Q-tip. Got a weak Q-tip, man. Just uh, hand wash, Mr. Wales, and then air dry. I don't want to do that in Arthidium because I don't want the screws to scratch the plastic. Yes, there is, um, Inku, Inku, there's a lot of boards and stuff. I mean, it depends on um, when your machine was made. Starting in 1978, they started using chips and stuff. Before that, it was all electromechanical. Um, the, the two machines I have that aren't electromechanical are from the 1990s, so chips had come quite a bit. They have, you know, opto switches and all that fun stuff as well. Yes, inventory management indeed, slash desk management. Well, okay. Um, this will be my last pass on this portion of the cloth. Okay, simple enigma. Okay, looks, looks pretty good. Nice and shiny, that's for sure. Yeah, Northidian, the next time that I pass through, I will. Uh, I have it all written down properly. It's not going to be a big deal. But, um, yeah, next time I'll definitely keep more of the screws in the bags of the other stuff. That was definitely an oversight on my part. There's quite a few things I would have done differently if I was breaking it down again. And that is one of them. It's cleaning up because it's nice to have clean things. Now go clean your room. Okay. Snobus One's doing a really good job on this plastic. I gotta say, I'm happy with it. Maybe a quick buff with the dry cloth as well. And then this portion of the cloth is done. These are the in-lane plastics, uh, Chazin, what keeps the ball rolling down to the flippers when it comes in the in-lane. Just hand wash, Grady Gecko, and then air dry. Okay, cool. So that portion of the cloth is hosed.
Yeah, soak it in hot water sounds like a good idea. Okay, put this over here. We're on part number seven, right in lane plastics. Yeah, probably just give him a really hot water soak, uh, wring him out a bunch of times, and then just let him air dry is how I do it. Okay, other way around. So the way that I did it in Arthurian is I wrote down every part number, uh, including the screws. But yes, uh, the next time I would definitely keep the screws together. But it will not be a big issue in putting it back together. It will just will lose me maybe, you know, half hour, 45 minutes of the build time. Okay. Seven. All right, desk management here. We got this. We got this thing, which I am a couple parts away from having done. So we'll put that on the parts bench. These we're going to continue to need. These can go over here. Don't have anything to put on the fixed list yet. Actually, yes, I do. Small washer. Redundancy. Okay, we're going to wait just a second to uh, label the picture for these because we know we have two of the same part coming in again. This one I did keep the screw intact. Okay. So what I did here was I put a little piece of electrical tape on the end of the screw to... Um, so I'm moving because this one was not coming out. So I'll probably just leave it as is like it was before. No worries, Mr. Kronos. Appreciate having you, sir. So this can go down here. Now we'll do the same thing with the electrical tape. We need to clean first. Okay, so this was definitely the dirtiest of the pieces that I've cleaned so far on the other side. So we'll assume this one's going to be dirty as well. And give it a little uh, Novus Q-tip in the the brackets. Cool, man. Glad to hear that, Nikuan. That's what I like to hear. I was hoping uh, the pinball streams would interest more people in pinball, and I think it's definitely accomplished that. Really, these streams are just more me sharing my hobby than anything. I'm not looking to really gain anything from this. It's just, uh, you know... It's sharing is caring. Look at that, man. That's one little pass on the metal. That's crazy. Okay, well. I don't even think that Novus is the right choice to begin with. I don't even, that's too dirty. Too dirty. This one's filthy. What are we going to do with you? Well. We'll go, we'll go dry microfiber into Novus microfiber and see if that works out good. Yeah, nasty. That's how, uh, that, you know, that's how dirt builds up over time. You know, it doesn't look dirty, but it is. And, you know, every time the ball kicks up, it, uh, you know, spreads a little bit of that dust across the machine. I don't know, do I want to use alcohol and metal? Is there anything bad that can happen from that? Sure haven't, sir. They haven't wrote me back yet. So this stuff right here, they make Novus 1, 2, and 3, uh, pray for mercy. Novus 1 is a very light plastic cleaner. Um, Novus 2 is more of an abrasive plastic cleaner, and Novus 3 is for, like, really heavily scratched plastics. As long as it dries properly. Well, okay. We'll give that a, we'll give that a go, and we can just wipe it down with this cloth, which is fine. I think I got most of the dirt off anyways. Dirt's everywhere, I guess. That's right. Won't alcohol oxidize metal? I don't think so. Yeah, firearm cleaner would work out really good. 
Okay, well, I'm not going to use alcohol here. You can use isopropyl alcohol and metal easy. That's what I have right now. Yeah, I'm not going to keep it in there. I'm definitely going to dry it uh, very thoroughly. This is really just more of a uh, thorough wipe down to see how dirty it is. I don't think it's that dirty. No, I got most of the dirt off, so I think just a little wipe down here plus some Novus will be uh, more than sufficient to be uh, clean by my standards. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's dirty, but it ain't that dirty. And I'm not worried about everything being completely 100% clean. It's not like the end of the world if there's some dirt on my machine. It is a like piece of electronics. It's going to collect dirt. But, I mean, pulling some dirt off is better than no dirt. That being said, this piece is pretty filthy. Well, thank you, friend bots. Appreciate the chemistry. No, no, don't drink it. No, what does it say on the back? It says it will cause severe gastric disturbances if ingested. Oh, yeah, it'll evaporate in no time at all. Okay, so. This end of our rag somewhat dirty, so I want to use, uh, well, I don't know, man. Oh yeah, for sure, Demori. Okay, well, this looks great to me. Yeah, the, the Novus definitely did the trick. I think I think loosening up the dirt with a little bit of alcohol was a good idea, but uh, that is pretty spick and span compared to what it was. Looks great to me. One more wipe down with this rag to make sure we got any alcohol or other crap off of it. Okay, cool. Gonna re-tab this with the, um, give my hands a second to breathe here too. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that game dead, Brian. That was a, um, that was just a piece of electrical tape that I'm about to use right now. You'll get sick, Naruki, no question. Fuck you, nice name, sir. I am cleaning uh, all of the plastic and most of the metal parts for a Star Trek Next Generation pinball machine. Okay, so put a little piece of electrical tape on the end of that to make sure it doesn't poke a hole and then scratch anything. Not really. I guess I did put it in a big bag for whatever reason. Very well. Well, we're trucking right along, aren't we? Okay. Yeah. yeah, no frames dropped on my end. We'll chalk it up to a hiccup. Just let my uh, hands air out for a minute. They're getting a little bit pruny from wearing gloves. Let's give them a second and see. Uh, 
where it goes. So next on our list is left kicker plastic, right kicker plastic. Then ramp connector post screw, okay, launch ramp, drop post screw, okay. Launch ramp, bottom screws. We got a bunch of uh, screws coming up. I got plastics in this bin back here. I could go grab the uh, ramps and plastics. I think I might save that if it's a bigger project and get to that later if we have time. Beta quad shuttle screws, beta quad shuttle, yes. Cool, Lipid. Well, thank you, sir. Looking good. Cool, Grub Worm. How'd you like it? Dirty Pinball Salesman. What? What a name, what a player, sir. What a name, what a player. The Dirt Apocalypse. All right, I think my hands are sufficiently... Well, actually, we're just going on to screws here, so I can just take this rag and work with screws for the moment. Oh, wait, we got plastics. Never mind. Oh, wait, I got to take a picture for that one. Almost forgot. Okay, so we're going to go over to paint here. We're going to... Uh, which ones did we just do? We just did seven and eight. Um, boo -doo 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 -doo. this will do here. Oh, oh, don't save it there. Oh, eight, right. I'm ninety nine percent sure that I will remember where to put everything back on the machine when the time comes, but man, it would suck to not remember. So, uh, re Department of Redundancy. Okay. So we have next the uh, kicker plastics, which are the things that sit Blow the trough and do this to the ball. Thank you for taking the time to watch, uh, Shorty. All right, my hands are definitely uh, dry right now. You know what I should get is some talcum powder. I would do the trick. Did I label it? I labeled it left, didn't I? Well, thank you for that. Or I labeled it right. Thanks so much. I'll go fix that over here now. Appreciate that. Mucho gracias. Okay, cool. Uh, 